Oh Sagittarius, welcome to my channel. Thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 16th to the 22nd of August. Hopefully it'll resonate and you'll like, share and subscribe to help my channel grow. If not, the August readings are up and I have a playlist of timeless spirit messages that might help you if you need guidance. But today I'll get a weekly message for you. We'll get the basis of the message and then we'll do some tarot. I'll clarify one of the cards and then I'll get some advice at the end. Thank you, Spirit. We have Yin. Now, Yin's a beautiful, emotionally balanced energy. This is emotions. It's the feminine side of us all, whether you're male, uh, female, or uh, male or feminine. It's your feminine side that we all have, and it's a beautiful, beautiful energy. So we'll just see. Oh. Choose or balance. Choices. Going towards a uh, beautiful, emotional, balanced energy here. Spirit, you're ready. You're ready for beautiful, emotionally balanced times. So anything that's upsetting your apple cart, I wouldn't pay too much attention to it, Spirit, saying because you're ready to bring harmony, emotional harmony, into your life here. So can we please, we'll do the tarot, page of cups. This has come out for three signs now. Four of cups. Came out for Cancer and Taurus. The Nine of Swords. Beautiful energy, emotional balance. There we are, temperance. They're giving it twice here, Sagittarius. Beautiful energy. Divinely guided now. Spirit's guiding you now towards emotional balance here. Yeah. Beautiful world card here. Page of Swords. This is your central energy. Ten of Wands. Beautiful King of, I beg your pardon, Queen of Swords there. Very clear minded. Beautiful Two of Cups, balanced. Again, another two here. And the Page of Pentacles. Now, this is a beautiful reading of movement. What we've got at the centre of this reading here is a situation. Of this could be news coming in, it could be enlightenment, it could be an idea that comes forward. But pages, this idea or whatever it is you're having here will rise you above things. Definitely, there's a beautiful energy here of rising above any anxieties that you're having. Any sleepless nights, any mental anxieties that's causing you distress. Now, there'll be different degrees of this for everybody. Not everybody has sleepless nights, but anything that's weighing you mentally down. We definitely have to be looking at it now. Um, this could be somebody coming in with something and giving you some information uh, that either causes you distress. I think it's happened or you're ready. It's ideas. You're ready now to bring in more emotionally balanced, to live a more emotionally balanced life here. So if someone's coming in and saying something to you, it could be Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. Okay. Now, this is designed to put a stop to the burdens. This is Spirit is trying to help you put an end to burdens in your life and challenges. So this could be challenges in any area of your life. So it could be all these are lessons learned. They're karmic lessons that have went prior. So there's been challenging times. And what Spirit's wanting for, for you now is a better balanced energy. They want you emotionally balanced. They don't want you mentally upset, mentally stressed. The, it's time to lay down your burdens now. Now, there's an opportunity that's been presented here. Now, you can be sometimes so wrapped up in this type of mental energy, distress, it could be anxiety, that you're not seeing the blessings around you. Now, there's always opportunities around you to change things. Okay, this could be something that comes out of the blue. It could be an apology that comes forward. It could be you recognising um, that you want to move on to a more emotionally stable place. Pages of the idea of emotional stability here it can be as well so please look at the, the the blessings that are coming towards you be in the present because that's the best way to see it spirit is trying to present you with opportunities and help you look at your blessings here to bring you into a better heartfelt space so if it's not an apology from somebody if it's a person coming in to apologize it might be you that needs to apologize the cups are cancer pisces or scorpio but it doesn't have to be 
But this is designed, what Spirit's doing here is they're trying to, with this beautiful card of balance, temperance here, they're trying to help you bring better balance into your life. Absolutely, emotionally. Definitely emotionally. Now, this will put your burdens to an end, start up a new life cycle. So please look at the opportunities that could be presented to you here or the blessings that you have. They might not feel great the way you're feeling at the moment. You might find it difficult to see your blessings, but there's everyday blessings around you. Sometimes when we're in anxiety, we can't see our blessings. We miss them. So they're trying to, the Spirit's trying to draw your attention here to them because through laying down our burdens and coming away from this anxiety and looking at our emotional stability here, we can start a new life cycle. And this is going through a portal. It's a life cycle that when you go through it, it's going to change things. It's a completion. It's about putting behind you your burdens here and bringing in greater emotional stability. Now, one way we can do that is to come from an intellectual point of view. So rather than being anxious about it, the Queen of Swords, what she does is she comes um, and she cuts out people in situations and environments that no longer serve her. She speaks very clearly. She doesn't mince her words if it's communication here. It can be you communicating something. Okay, so it can be you wanting to move on. You're starting to see now I'm going to take control of this. I'm going to have decided now. I've got the idea now in my head that I'm going to put an end to my burdens and my emotional distress here. And I'm going to take action. And I'm either going to speak up or I'm going to cut people or situations out of my life that no longer serve me. Or it could be that you've decided you're going to make an apology here. If it's you that's making the apology. Okay, but there's definitely the Queen, if you see her hand, she's moving forward in a very clear-minded way. And that's what this is all about. Because we want to get away from this Nine of Swords energy. We, don't, we want to put an end to the anxiety and the distress that we're feeling over whatever. You're ready to do this. You're ready to bring emotional balance into your life. And here we are here. When we when we deal with things, we speak up or we we um, speak our truth, if you like. We bring greater balance. Now, this could be you coming into alignment with yourself here. Or this could be you, um, you know, your spiritual self and your higher self is what I'm trying to say. You're coming in one at one with yourself. Or this is, could be you coming into balance with someone else in your life that's maybe upset you or you're distressed over. But this is beautiful because this is somebody who gets you. Okay, this is somebody who's on the same page as you. So you might have to speak up here. Or it could be, like I say, it could be you coming into balance. Spirit bringing you into this beautiful balanced energy here. And then what happens there is we move towards greater stability. Now, the reason we've got the night here and it's the slowest moving night in the pack is because it's been a cycle of challenges or anxiety that you've been going through. And he's the slowest night in the pack. So this is to do with your stability. So it could be within your home life or your job environment. It could be your finances or it could be your work environment. Anything that's tangible in your life. But he's very, see when he speaks, he dots his eyes and strokes his T's. So he's being deliberate and having a think about this. You're ready to move forward now. You might have been thinking about how to move forward towards your stability. And he's got his eyes and strokes his T's. He knows his game. So he, when he speaks, he's in this beautiful mental clarity. So having information here, doing your homework, deciding how you're going to go forward, finding the way to go forward, having clarity on that will help you move forward when you're expressing yourself here. If you've got to express yourself here or cut people out, you'll know why you're doing it to move towards this greater stability. So it's a beautiful forward moving energy here. So can we just please clarify the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit? So you're ready for emotional balance, definitely. It's time to put down the burdens of challenges and anxieties and start to look at how you want to go forward to bring greater balance into your life and greater stability. This is to do with your emotions as well, because your mental energy affects your emotions. Now, the only pentacle, the only card with pentacles we've got here is a knight of pentacles. And it's about when you do all this, when you get rid of anxiety and you get rid of environments and situations, you create greater stability. And that's what spirit wants for you here. 
the Seven of Swords. There we are, the Queen of Pentacles. Moving towards the Queen of Pentacles energy. Beautiful. The Devil. So what we've got here is, if there's been anything toxic or making you stuck, now that could be anything. It could be an addiction. It could be um, a mental thought pattern because we have got the, the anxiety card here. Any mental thought pattern that's keeping you stuck, that's not serving you well. Any type of toxic relationship, toxic environment or person. Addiction, anything like that. We need to get unstuck from now. We need to move forward. Now, there could have been deceit from a person, lies, cheating, deceiving. Or either that, this we need to leave that behind. But either that, this could be you taking the knowledge that you've gained, the lessons you've learned, the mental clarity that you have, and say, right, I'm moving on from this situation that's keeping me stuck here. Because I am ready to go towards emotional stability. And I'm ready to go towards stability in general. Now, the Queen of Pentacles energy has worked very hard to bring this stability into her life. She's very clear in how she speaks, where she puts her energies into. She's got a very stable home life. She's got a good financial situation. Her relationships and her work and her environment are lovely. So she's, a, you know, this is a no-nonsense energy here. She's very clear. The Queen of Pentacles is very clear in what she's had to cut out to get towards and work towards this great stability that she's created and this comfort for herself. So she's very at one with environment. She's very happy and stable, nurturing, content type of energy here. So that's what Spirit's wanting you to have here, Sagittarius. So we'll just take a new romantic cycle begins. Now, it doesn't have to be a new romantic cycle. It could be that you've had words with your partner and you, it might improve through speaking up. But it could be any cycle. It doesn't just have, not everybody's looking for romance. It could be a new romantic cycle with yourself. Loving yourself here. A personal issue reaches resolution. And that's what this is about here. Take time to breathe out. Yeah, take time now. You're ready to take time to think about how you want to go forward. There's a, you know, personal issues are going to sort themselves out through doing what spirits advised here. And there's a new cycle beginning. It could be within romance or it could be within anything else if it's not romance you're looking for. Okay, I hope this helps Sagittarius. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.